So we did a SEM uh, just now of the hot rod where uh, the sparks came out and uh, it was very dynamic on the videos we've shared and uh, zooming into this you can see it's fairly homogenous. This is the area that split uh, where it got hottest and looking at it uh, you have uh, some sodium and carbon which is unexpected because there's sodium bicarbonate uh, in the electrolyte and essentially iron oxide and there we go and <clears throat> so we then look at this area and you see it's a bit closer in really quite glassy in structure um, and again we're seeing the same um, sodium bicarbonate type of signature with the iron oxide but going further in we get these striking structures there's two types one like this and one like this so we, this is slightly more macro features and uh, try as we might uh, we could not actually see anything other than uh, iron oxide. It's completely homogenous even though you have these kind of uh, features on here and th this is like um, Yana said uh, kind of crystal grain boundaries and you're actually just seeing the, the change in uh, elevation uh, is marking out the boundaries. So uh, that's quite striking uh, and the it's almost like a completely homogenous mixture. Um, I think actually we can go in and you can see uh, a bit more detail, we'll f follow up that in a minute. The other type of structure is this one, which again is <laughs> FEO. And uh, it's quite beautiful actually to look at two areas. Um, you have these kind of discs which are incredibly thin, incredibly thin. I mean we're looking at five microns here for the, that scale and those are nanostructures. Fine, fine discs, almost infinitesimally thin uh, and some fuzzy stuff in between but essentially the whole of that is iron oxide. So yes, looking at one of the discs compared to one of the fluffy areas, uh, you can see that these discs are um, have a little bit of carbon in them, apparently, and the uh, fluffy areas are pure iron oxide. And uh, however, I have to say when you look at it they both look like they have the carbon content in them so you can see the both compared there uh, almost exactly the same in terms of their iron carbon so as I said in this structure here um, that's the SEM image but here is the oxygen here is the iron, here is the carbon, which is much more sparse, and that's the composite. And you can see it's pretty much a pure mix. So there's the structure that you see, the SEM, and this is the blend of the various elements, and you can't see any differentiation between those carbon iron oxygen spectrum. Comparing the crystalline area uh, with the fuzzy area, uh, there's more um, carbon and there is more, in fact there is some manganese or certainly more, so you can see the uh, carbon is up and the manganese is 
up compared to the fuzzy areas.